Rewild the Child. When I was a kid, things often weren't too good at home, and, and when things got bad, I could run out of the front door and just outside the house, and there were woods and there was heath and meadows, and I could just roam around in them. I could break sticks, I could bash rocks together and the rest of it, and I could get it all out of my system. You can't go mad inside the house because someone's going to get hurt. The link between children and the natural world, which is such a powerful link, which has always been there and has been broken just in the past generation. We have what I think is a very narrow education system, which rewards a particular skill set, but completely ignores the great intelligence, the genius that many children have, but that is never discovered. And what I've found is that when you take children out into the wilds, out into the countryside, out to the sea, places they haven't been before, suddenly you'll find kids who are deemed to be failing at school, shining. Children who are sometimes bottom of the class turn out to be full of amazing powers of observation and intuition and engagement. They're the ones with the really intelligent questions and the really intelligent answers when they're put into a completely different place. Oh, look at this. With his hands, Lillian has caught this thing called a sea scorpion. Sea scorpion? A sea scorpion. Wow. It looks like a stonefish, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And what you've got here is an opportunity for children to actually hold things and see things and engage with things in a way you just can't do in the classroom. And there's been a whole lot of studies now showing that the more time that children spend in the classroom, that the worse they do at school. And just as this view is now quite widely accepted that actually it's really essential for children's development and education to get them outdoors and yet all the funding is being cut. Local authorities don't have the money to maintain the outdoor education centres and so those centres have been closing. It's just charities now which are trying to keep them alive and the charities don't have enough money. And I think it's criminal not to allow every child in Britain to have this every single term. That, that's what's needed. Every child in every school in the country, every term should have a week in the countryside. And I think that would have a transformative effect, not just on the children themselves and on their education, but on the whole of society. Boarding school at an early age is child abuse. We're surrounded by silences, generally about things that elites do not want us to talk about. And one of those issues, I believe, is boarding schools. 